The Truth About Mining Bitcoin Bitcoin, the world's first and most well-known cryptocurrency, currently consumes as much energy and emits as much greenhouse gas as entire nations. In my opinion, this is counterproductive at a time where mankind is racing against the clock to adapt to renewable energy before we boil the entire planet. Individuals and even organizations enjoy Bitcoin because it allows them to have no reliance on a bank, government, or anybody else. But this innovation is absolutely not without hazards at all. Welcome back to Planet Proof. This channel is dedicated to researching and evaluating businesses, brands, and products. If you are new to our channel, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel to show your support and help us propagate crucial public awareness. Because Bitcoins aren't tangible coins, you may be wondering why virtual money requires so much energy. Bitcoin is a completely decentralized currency. This means that there is no longer a bank that has complete control over your information. In a blockchain, each transaction is placed on the computers of the participants of the network. This means that anyone who participates in the network can view all transactions publicly. However, there must be a system in place to prevent criminals from duplicating coins and attempting to spend them twice. To overcome this, the system incentivizes numerous people, rather than a single trusted body, to dedicate computational power to authenticate transactions. This procedure is also known as mining, and is used to produce new bitcoins. For confirming and verifying transactions to the blockchain, miners are rewarded with Bitcoin. So we can say that Bitcoin miners are also in charge of generating new Bitcoins by solving difficult mathematical problems. As time goes on, the reward for solving these equations drops, making it more difficult to acquire fresh Bitcoins. Fresh Bitcoins are granted to just one miner who completes the validating and other procedures first, making the system very competitive. This results in an arms race of increasingly faster and more powerful computer systems. To keep the machinery running and to prevent it from overheating, that monster needs a lot of energy. According to Columbia Climate School, the Greenage Generation Plant in Dresden, New York, needs to draw millions of gallons of water to cool itself while operating, and discharges some of that water back into Lake Seneca at temperatures 30 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit above normal, harming fish, endangering animals, and causing algae blooms. Heartbreaking, isn't it? Bitcoin miners have been spying on locations where electricity is cheap and the environment is pleasant for years, such as China's Inner Mongolia or the hydro-rich Pacific Northwest. However, miners are apparently relocating to coal-rich Kazakhstan and the low-cost but unstable Texas electric grid. The volume of Bitcoin mining activities is also affected by the price and power availability. If power is cheaper in one state or even a region of a state than in another, it makes good business sense to locate mining activities there. According to Digiconomist, a cryptocurrency analytics website, each Bitcoin transaction requires around 2,145 kilowatt hours of power. That's the same amount of electricity used by the average American family for 73 days. Crazy, right? In comparison, Alphabet's Google, the world's most popular search engine, consumes 12 terawatt hours, which is roughly a tenth of the energy used by Bitcoin. How incredible is that? The issue is that Bitcoin mining uses a lot of power and generates a lot of heat waste. Bitcoin mining now consumes a significant amount of energy due to the high cost of doing so at a global level. And even worse, people must devote more time and energy to mining Bitcoins as the number of Bitcoins in circulation grows. So it just gets more and more. Whatever happens to Bitcoin, its blockchain technology is incredibly innovative and game-changing. Bitcoin has demonstrated how computer programs may be used to make payments safely inside and across nations without depending on greedy banking institutions that demand excessive fees. Such costs are a significant hardship for migrant workers sending remittances back to their home countries. Technologies that make payments less expensive, faster, and simpler to trace would benefit both consumers and companies, improving both local and international trade. Cryptocurrencies are even regarded as a green alternative to government-issued money since they enable more efficient payment systems and are not susceptible to inflation or political whims. As the popularity of cryptocurrencies grows, so does the related environmental impact. Cryptocurrencies will have a large ecological footprint due to their energy and resource requirements. If the popularity of cryptocurrencies grows along with their ecological footprints, it will be necessary to look at ways to lessen such footprints. Initiatives like the Bitcoin Mining Council and the Crypto Climate Accord are developing new ways to make crypto mining and transactions more energy efficient. 
The Crypto Climate Accord has a stated goal of running all blockchains on entirely renewable energy by 2025. Some mining operations currently run on renewable energy, but it's hard to pin down an exact percentage. So what can we do? The first thing you may do is try to locate a less energy-intensive mining process. You may also attempt mining cryptocurrency using sustainable energy sources like solar or wind. Recycling the resources used in Bitcoin mining is another approach to make it more eco-friendly. You always have an option of donating these goods to garbage disposal facilities or recycling them. Finally, you might attempt to educate yourself and your friends on the environmental effect of Bitcoin mining by watching and sharing this video. Well, that is all for today's video. We would love to hear from you. What do you think of the future of cryptocurrency and our environment? Will you condemn the Bitcoin mining and its hostile effects? If you enjoyed this video, hit like and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting videos every week. Until the next video, we wish you the best of health. Bye-bye.